Hello buddies, welcome back to another important Smart India Hackathon video. I hope all of you are busy with your internal hackathons, building your prototypes and drafting your PPT. And yes, in this video, we are going to talk about the detailed roadmap that you need to know for building a successful product. And guess whose insights are these? These are Elon Musk's five phases of building a perfect prototype. And this is what we are going to discuss throughout this video. Before getting into the video, I would like to thank you all for the exclusive webinar success that we had. Heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you. And we had around 200 attendees for the webinar. We talked a lot about strategies. We talked about problem statement, AI roadmap and many more stuffs. And that added a lot of value for many of you. And currently the one-on-one -on -one sessions are also on fire. We have had around 50 one-on-one -on -one sessions so far. And we have not even dropped a rating below five. Make sure to check it out. There we are going to do a personalized one-on-one -on -one PPT mentorship from an evaluator perspective. And along with that, we have the mentorship also for the ideation phase. If you guys still need clarity about how to select a problem statement, how to draft a better idea, you can check out that as well. Both of these links are shared in the description. Make sure to check it out. And yes, let me give an assurance for you. By the time this video ends, you will have a detailed clarity of how you should build a successful and a good prototype. Let's go. So what we are going to do now is we are going to talk about the five phases of building a successful prototype given by Elon Musk. So first what we are going to do is let me uh, select a random problem statement. Okay, so let me just select uh, this. I hope uh, this is a common problem statement, but still let me just have a selection of this. So what we are going to do now is we are going to select this problem statement and drop it in our Hunter's AI assistant. To all who don't know it, we have talked in the previous video. It's basically a hackathon assistant built by us for you which contains every single information starting from how we evaluated 75 plus hackathons evaluated 1000 plus ppts evaluation criteria common mistakes you do winning ppt success formula lot more stuff every data is fed into this gpt to help you out okay so now coming on to the first phase now we have selected the problem student we've put here the first phase of building a successful prototype is understanding what the problem is see most people lag in understanding the problem itself first thing they will do is they will select a random problem statement they will say okay that seems to be a big problem and directly jump into a solution without even understanding in depth what i mean by understanding in depth of a problem statement is rather than just seeing it as a problem statement to understand the stakeholders stakeholders in the sense who is facing this problem why is this problem crucial how you can tackle it all real world analysis of the problem is very crucial in understanding it okay see now when i put here i've got the core pain points so as you know as you saw the problem it was about gamification of environmental learning what is the core pain point what is the core problem environmental education is textbook heavy in india Right, we have, we have studied environmental studies in my college, in my school time, what is air pollution, what is water pollution, we have studied only that. What have we done in reality to save the environment or to elevate the environment, how many trees we have planted, certain stuffs like that is basically a pain point. We have to increase the awareness to many people to ensure that they can get into environmental wellness is basically the pain point and how you are going to navigate next okay so clarity of the problem statement is the first phase you can check all of the details here starting from impact what are the existing products what is the exact need say they will need a platform they need basically a web application and an app that is one more need of the problem okay so this is basically the first phase. Now let's go to the second phase. What is the second phase? Now you have understood the problem already. Yeah, see, environmental awareness, uh, these are certain problems. What are the key solutions that you can think? So I've just put random, okay? Don't just judge my English, just for your clarity. Because if I get in-depth into the problem statement and help, it will be like... Uh, completely wrong from an evaluator perspective. I'm just taking a problem statement and breaking it down to make you understand the five phases, okay? As we talked about the solution phase, it's about breaking down the solution. Most people, what they will do, they will try to dump a lot of features. Say it's an AI gamification platform here. You will add an AI feature. You will have a data security thing. You'll be adding a perk or a credit kind of a system where when people come and contribute, they'll be getting some score. This is the three important modules. They'll be adding multiple systems. They'll be having camera, they'll be having chatbots, blah, 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 and 10 to 15 solutions, okay? Here lies the exact problem. 
I'm not talking about the first phase. I'm talking about your mistakes that you do here. See, you try to dump out all the solutions for the problem. That's not how it works. Let's assume you have shortlisted 14 solutions. Take a paper and write, okay, this is the first feature. This is the second feature, third feature. Write down everything. Now, what you have to do is trying to cut down step by step. Okay, this solution 15, if I cut down, still this product will work. Solution 14, if I cut down, still it will work. Cut down features like that and bring it to a stage that say there are five or six feature solutions that you have if and if i remove one of it the core problem won't be solved you have to shortlist them to that stage if you don't do that now you can't build a perfect prototype okay if as elon musk says uh try very hard to delete the part or process this is actually very important if you're not occasionally adding things back in you are not deleting enough Okay, you can check out his uh, podcast video here. It's not basically a podcast, a random video where he has been asked questions and he answers this with clear precision and I'm talking it in detail. Okay, and this is basically a strategy which I normally used when I won 7 plus hackathons during my college time. Okay, so as per the second phase, it's all about a proper solution breakdown and figuring out what solution you are giving. This is the second phase. So now comes the important phase, building an MVP. What is an MVP is basically a starting form of a prototype, minimum viable product. So we have said uh, certain solutions which we are going to build, like see for example here it is given as Echo Bank core idea, students can earn Echo coins for sustainable actions which can be redeemed for real perks, discounted canteen recognition from NGO or something. Basically what I said, right, so you can have a perk based system, you can have a gamified AI inside or multiple stuffs like that, basically you have shortlist as your solution. What you have to do now? We have shortlisted that five or six core solutions, right? Focus on building the most important one first. Okay, for this whole thing to work, what you have to build first? You have to build the gamified platform because the main problem is that. Then from the six, you should pick the second priority. It may be the A. Third, it may be the perk. Just like that, figure out what is your most important functionality and build that first. Okay, that's when it becomes a minimum viable product. It has to be functional, right? Most people when it comes to, especially in the internal hackathon phase, you'll need a MVP at least. There you cannot be just taking out 10 features and bringing out. With respect to Smart India Hackathon, it's not about how complex technology you use. It's about you providing a solution to the problem. Keep that in mind. So focus on the core features first and build an MVP. Okay, about a short roadmap of building a prototype, I'll be talking in the last after telling the five phase. So what's the fourth phase? Say let's assume you have built the core features of the product already. The fourth phase is the add-on phase where basically you can add on all the extra features. We had around 15 solutions shortlisted in the start, right? You can add on around five to six solutions and break it as a whole fleshed prototype. Okay, this is basically the fourth phase where you're gonna bring all the add-on and optimize what i mean by optimize here is say you would have added 10 apis for one service what you can do is you can bring that down to three apis so certain stuffs like restructuring and seeing what has used a lot of hectic data or what structure is complex you can simplify it and optimize basically that's the fourth phase what's the fifth phase this is the phase of automation Basically, it's not just NA10 or using AI for doing a lot of stuff. It's about automating certain features. Say for the gamified platform thing, the credit system can be automated in the sense that uh, the student just have to be in. You can automate the whole process up to their canteen uh, booking or something which we saw here, right? The echo coins or something. That is one kind of automation. Second kind of automation is reducing the count of APIs such that every API call is automated. You don't need to trigger APIs because of certain actions. That is to self-awareness or to AI application or something like that. Everything that you can automate comes in the final step. So following these five phases, is enough for building a very good prototype. But the problem here is people directly get into automation. You get what I'm saying? You're selecting a problem statement. Okay, that's a good problem. Uh, I'm gonna give a solution. And directly you start thinking options of where all you can automate. What AI tool I can use to make things better. That's not how it works, okay? The base, the foundation has to be clear. You know what's the foundation? The foundation is the MVP, which we talked in the third step. But each and every phase here is important for building a successful 
prototype. So summarizing the five phases, the first phase is the problem understanding where you have to get clarity of the problem statement. Second is a solution breakdown, picking your top priority solutions. Third, the minimum viable product, basically building the top priority solutions. So the fourth phase is basically after the MVP where you can give all the add-on features and optimize it. Fifth phase is the automation phase where you can use a lot of automation tools and automated stuffs which are actually complex. So let me give a quick overview of the core prototype building strategy which I normally use. It also comes under like a four steps, okay. The first step is building the skeleton. Okay, the skeleton is basically the flow architecture. Even if you see the Smart India Hackathon second paper, they have asked for a flow architecture. This is basically to know what your product does and how the flow of the user from the start to end is going to be. Let's assume for this, we are building a web dashboard. So, or a web login. So, first the student will have a login. So, he's going to enter his details and get into the login portal. He's going to see all the environmental stuff which he can do. And he's, say, planting a tree. For planting a tree, he's getting an echo coin. This is a process flow. Okay, so build a skeleton of the whole process flow diagram here. That is the first step. Second step is build the core feature, which I already talked in those phases perspective. Build the first core feature, which here is going to be the gamified platform. Now, which I said already, that was basically the core feature and the skeleton of the whole process flow. Third thing is integration. Here is where you're going to have multiple tools integrated. You'll be using OpenAI's API or you're going to use multiple key factors that's going to power all your add-on features. See, why I am saying core feature in the second step is if you have a gamified platform as the core, only then you can bring in AI, you can bring in whatever and plug it in. Okay, it's like having a building foundation and having bricks over it. Keep that architecture in mind, okay? So once you build the foundation, you're going to add all your integrations. And the final step is a better UI. What are all the better UI you can do? That is the final step. Some people think that you have to have a perfect product. I need a perfect product. It's not like that, okay? Focus step by step. The perfect product may be the hundredth step. What matters is what step you keep today. The first step may be understanding the problem. The second step may be giving a solution phase. The third step may be how you can build a prototype. Fourth step is the architecture. The fifth step is the skeleton. You can classify it based on your team skills. Okay, some teams are capable to do all this simultaneously, uh, keeping in mind that each one are having an expertise. But even if you are fresher, you don't need to worry. Even if you are a complete beginner, you don't need to worry. Okay, everyone was once a beginner. Keep that in mind. And with respect to Smart India Hackathon, they expect around 30 to 40 percentage of the prototype already done when you add the demo link video. So keep that in mind with all of you submitting the PPT. Check out our previous video. We have given a clear draft of what all is expected from an evaluator side. And hopefully I'm going as an evaluator of Smart India Hackathon 25 as well. I'm not sure which problem statement I'm going to evaluate, but I'm goddamn excited for it as well. And yes, do make use of our Hunter's Hackathon Assistant. I'm sure this is going to be a great assist for you in your upcoming hackathon journey. And apart from this, if you feel you need personalized mentorship with respect to the ideation phase or the PPT phase, make sure to check out our one-on-one -on -one mentorships or we have both of this as a bundle. That is going to be a good assist for you and I am there to support you. All the best for your hackathon journey. Until next time, signing off, Kamal Eldas.